hello welcome to my channel uh this is requested by one of my subscriber it's called as kartik kishore who was curious about how this particular animation has been done okay now this has been done with a add on plugin of maya which is a mesh that's how this has been done so this plugin is uh, specifically there for motion graphics uh, inside a 3d software and um, it also has a, a, a node which also deals with the dynamics for uh, the elements which you create inside a 3d software okay so let's let's have a look at this let's see how this can be done mm. the plugin is here by the way it's here it mashes the plugin and these are uh, the tools required for I'll change my workspace if it is in a classic i can change it from classic to mesh Let me change the layout a bit. You can see here. Okay, so let's start by creating it from the scratch. Um, by creating a polygonal, let's see, a cylinder. I need to make an hourglass. Make an hourglass. So what I'll do is it's a few seconds. I see very quickly. Maybe I think um, you will do like this. Select delete of the top and the bottom. Good shape of an hourglass. Add one loop here. Yeah, I'll need to give it a thickness because I want the normals to be on the correct side. And uh, later when I render it, I also need uh, thickness to this because I'll be giving it a glass texture. I'll need a thickness for this. Control, yes, control E. Nice. Nice to be a little bit on the inside. Probably I want this the, the bottleneck to be a little bit smaller. So oh. then reverse the surface to the marking like reversing the surface to uh yeah, yes. Looks good. To insert a loop, can add a loop here. Yes. Okay. I can need smoother later. Yeah, let's create a polygonal cylinder very quickly. Line the cylinder to this modify line to copy 
Maybe. So copying it, let me make. Uh, I want it to be a little higher res so that. Kind of smoother. So I'll be actually uh, presenting this very close to the camera, so I need it to be having a little bit of higher resolution. A little bevel. We add a segment in here in between. Probably then make a copy of this control D. All right, so ready. Just very quickly, also give it a very quick uh, support rods here. So create knobs. Let's see. Yeah, create scene curve. Go and then. And just move the pivot over here. Over here, okay. I'll give it a revolve. It gives me something like this. Again, surface reverse the direction here. Looks good. Okay. Edit to do the right types. In fact, it is the surface here, mask of the surface, the control vertices. Okay, wait to come out on the song and edit to right by this one. Okay, fine, good to go. Control D, make a copy of this, kind of rotate it. Yeah, so that completes our model. Give yeah, shader and give it an all mode AI standard shader to this. There is a glass. Just let me make it a little transparent so that I start seeing it. I'll come back here, do geometry, take the opacity a little low. I can take a transmission higher, yeah. Okay. At least I can get to see in the viewport of what will be happening. Okay. Yeah, now. Um, 
I want to create uh, small spheres, let's say polygonal spheres, it is a polygonal sphere. I want this to be a little bit more tiny. Yes. a bit small yep that will be good enough can go a little bit more less on this number and also I'll just soften out the edges for this good okay now coming back to the mesh I shall be using, I just be selecting the object which I want to work on and then hitting this. So once that is done, you will see that uh, what it has done, if we go to my outliner, if we just open this, where it gives me an hierarchy of what's happening in the mesh editor mm -hmm. what node has been applied so it has applied a node which is called all mesh distributor okay so mesh distributor is the node uh, which uh, the add-on has applied and uh, which is working right now you can see uh, it's distributed it into four um, not four, I'm sorry, distributed it to several more spheres starting from here. Oh, I think the number is 10, really. Okay, Let's see, I can increase the number. But I don't want the distribution to be linear. Okay, I want the distribution to be more of a radial or maybe even let's say spherical okay add more points i want to reduce the radius it's smaller okay I'm going to adding numbers here maybe let's say hundred There it is. Uh, you can go a little higher, let's see. Okay. Here. This is uh, specific to geometry of what geometry I've selected. So you can, if I want, I could just delete this and then pick some other object instead of that. I could just drag and drop it from the outliner. Okay, so if I move to the outliner, if it is something else, I could just say if it is a torus, I could just middle mouse button drag and drop until it take place instead of these. Okay, let me move this up a little. So shape. Okay, so let's select this. And down inside the flask. The grid for a while. I just uh, delete the history for this specific object, or in fact, for the, all the objects. Edit, delete, by history. Select the mesh node. 
go to the distribute add more points so, yes I think uh, a number of 500 will be uh, even thousands or thousand will do or maybe even 5000 okay we'll take a look at that so let's go back to the mesh node now from here what you can do we have several nodes which you can apply um, here okay so i want the dynamics to be applied so i just click on and apply mesh dynamics to it add dynamic node okay. so we'll add another node which is called as dynamic node here okay on the top of the distribute here okay and i have another um, uh, node for that which uh, is giving me all the attributes for the dynamics okay so if i just simply play this right now you see these are all kind of going down right but i want them to collide with the outside object this is the object so what i'll do is if you take a look here i have something called as bullet solo which is solving the whole equation here for the dynamics okay so um catch hold of that bullet uh node bullet solo node and we'll go to the bullet solver shape it's here it's uh, i can add collision objects i can add a field if i want okay uh, should i just reduce the numbers for a while okay so just so that we can see the whole animation interactively okay so i'll just go here in the distribute and then just keep this little minimum 200 okay so a lot of uh, maybe in the end we can just once we are happy with our animation we can uh, increase the number in the end okay so yeah what i'll do is go back to my dynamics mode and add uh, the solver node sorry the solver node and add that collision object. Now the collision object is this right uh, uh, probably should be renaming it okay uh, the cylinder one okay just uh, for the demonstration purposes right now i'll just keep it to what it is okay and uh, change it later okay. so yeah go to the plate solver and just middle mouse button drag this cylinder one in here okay and that will be the collision object now okay. i just where it is okay I want this also to be the collision object, yes, of course. So, collision object. So maybe now I can do what I can increase the number. Let's go back to the dynamics or the distribute, sorry. Distribute is the number of points to 500. Yep, there it is. Let's give it a very quick uh, render here. Yeah. Uh, yes. Hit tab. IST. Add AI standard surface. So it's glass. Sign this to the glass. Rule A, and then uh, close the transmission.
um, new material or assign i'll just uh, give it an existing uh, the two materials here one is glass already is there i'll give it uh, if i will give it a new material okay, so new material give it ai standard surface for this this is called the base split base split okay. and from here I just assign it uh, for texture or a, a shader which will represent a cold okay. all right good and these will be simple uh, wood okay clear this from here delete any unused nodes which i don't want so i have glass as well, uh, as well as i have i have base plate okay i will have another one for the supporting rods tab aist a standard surface supporting rod and then assign it to all three of this take the file node file detection node connect the out color to the base and assign the texture um, See the texture kind of nicely assigned to it. We'll do for now, okay. And yeah, need some create light uh, I, I need a very subtle light right now don't want any sky dome or probably not even uh, dome light or anything i'll just take an area light few area lights will do we this control d make another copy of it here on this side It. Yeah, I think uh, these main lights are enough. We go to the on all and light. Go to the utilities, light manager, two lights. We forgot to assign texture to this. Assign new material. Let's assign one to this also. Okay. 
PA standard surface. Very quickly give it a name. Clear this off. The new one graph network. Uh, check it. That's the one. Call it as greens. Assign mm -hmm. some preset to this will do. Okay. I'll just assign it a chrome preset. Good enough. Yeah, so I have a uh, my light lister over here. And I'll hit the renderer. I need I just create a camera from the view. Select the camera. Uh, that will be my short cam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah. Need to increase the exposure here for both the lights. So ten. There it is. Uh, I need the glass to be. I don't want the glass to be like semi transparent. Like what it seems from here, it's having a little bit of that roughness value in it. So just kind of remove that roughness to make it fully transparent. Okay. I want a very less specular way to. There it is. And uh, give a little bit more roughness value to the gold. Okay. I don't want any specular. Supporting rod, use the specular all together. Base plate. Let's increase the roughness a bit on these. They are visible. Okay, petrol of these grains. Increase the roughness for those so they shine. There it is, guys. Done. Thanks. Bye. Take care. All. Bye.